observation, contemplation, conversation, connection, and creativity. Welcome to the Moral Moments Project. My name is Susan Russell, and on behalf of Crystal Ramsey, Zach Lonsinger, Dan Getz, Sarah Davis, Suzanne Schaefer, and all of your family at Teaching and Learning with Technology and the Center for Pedagogy in Arts and Design, I bid you welcome. Whether you have found us or whether you're taking the whole experience, this video is designed to help you know what kind of trail you're on. Because the journey that we take inside this project is a construction event. It's an experience of building yourself. And everybody's on this journey. No matter who they are, everyone is walking on the trail. What we're trying to do here at the Moral Moments Project is let you know that first, you are not alone. Second, you are part of a gigantic family that's growing with every moment that passes. And third, we want to help you with some signposts that can make this journey a little more knowable, a little more visible, a little more manageable. Because being human is hard, but sometimes it can be made just a little simpler. Life, like this course, is full of intellectual inquiry, personal contemplation, community conversation, community engagement, and strategic decision-making. That's all this course is about. Intellectual inquiry is just, are you aware that you're thinking? Do you know what you're thinking? And more importantly, do you know where your mind is while you are thinking? Some great tools for that is something you learned early on in your education process. Who, what, when, where, and the mystical, magical why. That's all a line of thinking is based on. What am I thinking? When did I learn it? How did I learn it? Who taught it to me? Where do I see it playing out? And then you get to the big question, why? Is that happening? The constant circling of who, what, when, where, why helps you think critically about the world. Give it a try. Now, personal contemplation, that's something we don't always in the 21st century take a lot of time with. And I call this the pause. How many times a day do you give yourself the space to take a pause. When something happens, you remember those happenings we talked about in the intellectual inquiry? When something happens, you have two options. You can react and you can respond. Responding can also be helped if you take time to take a pause. Like right now, watch me take a pause. I just took time for myself to respond to you and not react to a situation that is happening, like being filmed in a one-touch studio, in the Shields building, with Dan Getz holding a green screen light. You know, you are always here. The world is what's happening. So number three, community conversation. Communication is about knowing how to tell someone who you are, what you're thinking about, and where your mind is. And a course like this, or even thinking about a course like this, offers you the opportunity to clearly articulate who you are, the story of you inside an ever-moving object called culture. Communication is all about seeing that you're not the only person in the room, listening to what all those other people are saying, and being willing 
to learn something new, being open to a surprise, being mindful that you're amongst other people, and being present so that you can be possible. Imagine a world based on communication where you give everyone the space so that you might receive all of their information and then give them yours. Communication looks like this. It doesn't look like this. Community engagement or cultural engagement as we call it in the course. Can you, as a practice, take everything you know, the construction project called you, and can you take it out into your various communities? Can you begin walking the walk of being human and telling people who you are and asking them who they are? That's the engagement part that this course is so uh, excited about you experiencing. The art of the question. How do you learn how to ask a question that opens up a space for a conversation instead of shutting down the place of reaction? You know, just thinking about this opens up a whole new way to connect with the person in front of you, beside you, behind you, because well, we are all walking this path together. And finally, the grand experiment. If you have all of these construction elements in place, can you actually begin making strategic decisions that define who you want to be? Not who social media says you're supposed to be, not what a newspaper article says you should have been, not what someone next to you might have as an opinion of who they think you are. Wow, this is where decision making becomes the creative act of being human. Imagine yourself in a place that you know that place is yourself. And imagine yourself creating decisions about what you do, what you say, what you participate in, and how you are in every moment of your life. Talk about creativity. Talk about the art project called you. That's what this course is about. And you are not alone. As I said, if you are here visiting us just for this video, you are, as my Irish grandmother would say, you are most welcome. You are most welcome. Come in. Come in here into your heart. And come in here into your mind. It's an extraordinary place. There's only one of you, and you are important. You're not alone. We're here with you.